Grandmother killed herself. And her soul comes to trouble her grandson, which scares him. How can one help the boy and stop the soul of the grandmother from visiting him and other relatives? First of all, this is not a soul but an astral imprint. Most likely there is no soul left in there, since suicide is considered the most terrible of sins for a reason. If the suicide is not performed with a special ritual objective, most likely such a soul, as a rule, will be sent to be disincarnated, meaning that, generally seen, it is a hard case. Therefore, if the grandmother was baptized, then you can reach out to her patron, the one who directly carries full responsibility for her presence in this world, including for her unreasonable behavior in the form of a suicide meaning reach out directly to the Christian egregor. Usually it is enough to have a funeral service, a 40-day prayer and everything that has to do with a proper burial and sending off the deceased to where they are supposed to go. When this ritual is performed, when it is being conducted, a knowledgeable priest, I repeat again, you need to find a knowledgeable priest, opens the channel. The energy funnel of this channel through a very strong gravity pool of light, disincarnates such astral entities immediately. And so then it leaves the astral plane and stops appearing. This is a memory, a reminder to keep praying for her, a reminder to save her, this soul, from being disincarnated. It asks to get nourished. An astral projection feeds on the energy of the living. That is why, as a rule, it always chooses either the weak, the sick, or children, the category of people who are unprotected. If the child wasn't baptized and the whole family are Christians, then as a possible option you can baptize the kid. Or you can perform one of the Christian purification rituals. Usually priests know how to do it, go to the priest, explain the situation to him, that the child gets scared, that a relative who died in a bad way comes to trouble him and so on. The only thing is that the priest might refuse to perform a ceremony for a person who committed suicide. They refuse to do it because their egregor has no need for such a soul, the soul and consciousness of those who have lost in this world. Since to commit a suicide means to completely sign your own annulment decree. I lost, I couldn't endure this quest, I live voluntarily, meaning I am willingly giving up. Such a soul does not empower the Christian egregor, it makes it weaker. That is why Christianity tries not to accept the souls of those who committed suicide. That is exactly the reason why ceremonies are not performed for them, why the burials are not allowed to take place within the holy grounds and on sanctified land and cemeteries. But people find their ways, they avoid telling the priests all the details. And the priests perform the rite according to the general rule, one size fits all, so to speak. The fact that the child sees this entity shows, first of all, that he is quite sensitive. It would be good for him to start learning and developing in this direction. But it also indicates that the entire family and kin are now in big trouble. As unfortunately, the stigma of suicide falls on everyone. And many, many generations yet to come, they will suffer major difficulties in obtaining and defending their rights. Since all of them will have the stigma, children of a person who committed suicide. It simply creates complicated circumstances. That is why I address all of those who are thinking of committing a suicide, and I say this to the camera, so to speak, because people who are not present here today will eventually see this video. My words are for them. Think again before admitting your own powerlessness. You may by now not care about your own fate and life, but think about those you gave birth to, those who depend on you. In my opinion, they should not be suffering from your simple-mindedness and weakness. It's not their fault. 
That is why it is surely better to carry your burden till the end. And believe me, while a person is alive, everything can still drastically change. The chances to change your fate may be provided. And if you don't believe so, if you choose to adopt a completely apathetic outlook towards all the opportunities circling around you in great amounts, if you are too blind to notice them, then get ready for the fact that all your future existence from now on will be very, very unbearable. Extremely unbearable, because nobody needs such a soul, neither friends nor enemies. In this torment, believe me, you don't want to suffer through it more than you actually have to. Believe me, suicide won't relieve you from your life's misery. On the contrary, it will only make it worse. Because while you are alive, you still can change things. But when you're dead, then it's all over. And in my opinion, it is way more terrifying to continue suffering through the same exact torment with a full understanding that there is nothing you can do to change it and there is nobody there to help you.